Eric. Hello. I, I still find it humorous when Eric calls in and promotes that show. <laughs> the show that nobody can hear. You couldn't stand to listen to it. Oh, I would never listen to it. If they worked out the technical bugs, I still don't even think I'd listen to it. <laughs> yeah, then there'd be nothing to listen to. All right. Good morning. Good morning. So you got your show tonight. Yeah, tonight and tomorrow night. Yeah. What are you uh what are you doing right now? I'm trying to fuck a chicken. <laughs> Holy shit. Really? You're trying to fuck a chicken. That's kind of a new activity for you. What's up with that? Hey, did you ever uh, make contact with Diana DiGarmo and uh do you ever you know, you ever talk to her anymore? I'm trying to fuck Diana and her mom's hot fucking asshole. It's that simple. Got it? Okay. All right. Take it easy. How far along are you on that journey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's making Eric laugh, I think. <laughs> What's up, uh, Eric? Oh, so hey. you're, doing your, you're doing American Idol tonight, right? Right, and tomorrow night. Right, and uh, you must be a real fan of Simon Cowell's. I want Simon Cowell to butt fuck me. Oh. Wow. He's a fan. You want Simon Cowell to butt fuck you? He's a freak. He's You're a freak today. What happened to you last <laughs> night, Eric? Eric. I'm confused with this call. Why is this call not going as good as it was Thursday? You guys were a hell of a lot nicer going to be on Thursday than you are today. Ah, uh, today's another day. It, 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 you know, you never know what you're going to get on this show. <laughs> it's like a box of chocolates. Look, Eric, what can I do for you? Please get me on your father's cock now. I can't do that. My father's not into that kind of thing. Right, art. he's not gay. That's right. Neither am I. Good. Then why would you ask such why a thing? Why did you say you want my... Would you say that about my dad? That's rude. Okay. Eric, the butt fucker's penis is a lot darker than usual. All right. You say you're talking crazy today, Eric. <laughs> Eric, what can I do for you, please? Well, I was just calling to promote the show tonight and tomorrow night and then also we are doing the Q and A's after the idol show both nights and then also Gina I think starting this week my co host has mm -hmm. her own show on Thursday nights called uh, Ladies Night. I see. And what kind of things do people ask you after the idol show? <laughs> yeah, what is the what is the burning question for you? Just any question that comes to the minds of the people in the room. What was I mean, it? really, what, what have you been asked? Yeah, like, what was the interesting question last week? Well, really, people keep uh, repeating the same questions over and over again. I see. And that gets annoying. Well, could you give us that question? What is it, J.D.? He gets really annoyed when these people at, at the <laughs> Q&As ask him questions that he thinks are general knowledge. <laughs> like the things that he, you know, he's brought up on the show. Like I what? See. Like if he smokes or drinks and stuff like uh, that. He just so gets... in other words, if someone doesn't know one bit of minutiae about Eric. <laughs> he's upset. Yeah. He thinks this has already been discussed. Oh, and... of course. Yeah, From yeah, what yeah. I understand, he's a real tyrant, too. If somebody says something that he doesn't like, I mean, oh, yeah. slightly out of character. I mean, he Eric fans he... him. He just... You know, black balls. Right? Why do you keep anybody in this room? He must have to. He's banning all. The you barely time. have any viewers, and, that, and now you're going to ban them. <laughs> it's like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we, Eric. We you know what? What? What is it you do when I ask you a question and then there's these long pauses? I'm trying to fuck the chicken. <laughs> oh, that would right. slow you down. All right. <laughs> we also do commentary during Scott Bale's show too. Good oh, I see. We're fighting out. I always wonder what Eric does when he takes these long pauses. And I mean, what do you, what do, you do? I'm trying to fuck Diana and her mom's hot fucking asshole. It's that simple. All right. Got it? Got it. All right.
Do you realize that my you look at my hand, my mouth wasn't even moving when you played that? Really? So how, how do you do, you do that? Are you a ventriloquist? Mm. <laughs> Obviously, that's not me. It's Jerry Mahoney. You think that's not you? How could how could we even do that? Sounds like you. Who's maybe doing a, your voice here? Two personalities, maybe. Called voice clips. Richard and Sal put them together. Oh. No. I'd know that if that were happening. Yeah, we would know that. What do you fantasize about when you're watching American Idol? I want Sonny Cow to let fuck me. <laughs> now that's fascinating. Ralph, what's up? Good uh, uh, m morning. All right, good oh. morning. Damn. <laughs> what's the matter, Eric? Idiot off the phone. Hey, Eric, that... that, that... That doesn't stop you. Like this, the show has been so bad. You're still plowing through with it, huh? It's not bad. No, it's horrible. <laughs> you, Eric, Eric, do you want to say? Proof. Do you want to say something to Ralph right now? Please get me on your father's cock now. That's strange. <laughs> yeah, Eric, like did you ever, Eric? Did you ever decide what you wanted to be called after all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, what do you what do you want to be called? That's a good question. Eric, the worthless jack of shit. Mm, like your idol cumbersome. Show last season was perfect, Ralph. Cumbersome. <laughs> yeah, Ralph, you didn't have such a good show either. Eric's right. He's right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Ralph, there isn't a good show out of the idol show. about that bad show. <laughs> Ralph, is there anything you want? I know you're a fan of Eric the Midget. Is there anything I want? Yeah, I mean, why did you call in? I was calling to talk about Robin. Oh, what what is that? I, I think you're right. I think she she loves being the uh, only black woman in the room, or the only black person in the room. Makes her special. All right, there's a theory, but uh, I don't know. I know one thing: the teacher always knew my name. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah. She didn't have to. Took her weeks to learn everybody else's. Yeah, you know, you got a point there. <laughs> I'm going to call on the girl with the good tan. <laughs> yeah. Eric, do you like black people? Yes, I have friends that are black people, yes. Well, Ooh. send some over to Robin. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have any. Although he didn't like Fantasia. Oh, that's yeah. true. She had was... nothing to do with her skin color. She was ignorant. Well, actually, you, you're you kind of black in one area, right? Eric, the butt fucker. <laughs> is a lot darker than usual. All right. So you're mixed. <laughs> mixed hard. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ralph. All right, Eric, uh, we'll advise everyone to watch your show, I guess. And uh, good luck with your show tonight. I hope the technical problems are worked out. I love that last week you were saying all these nice things about Eric, and he was expecting it to keep going. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about, you know, I now remember what I happened like on Eric. Thursday. Oh, we were all loving you. Eric. I like right. Eric. I, mean, yeah. I, t I told Eric I like him. You think it's going to be an ass kiss every week, Eric? you got to take a little abuse. The winds of change. Eric, you got to know I like you. That's the only reason I pick up the phone. Yeah, but it's like rubbing your ass before we slap it. Yeah. <laughs> Build you up to knock you down, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Let oh, me be yeah. nice. Eric, tell everyone what you want to be called on your show tonight. Eric, the idiot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Eric. You don't think that's funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. How can you not think that's funny? I mean, what really? are you doing while the show is on? I'm trying to fuck a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we're so busy doing that. Hey, I heard a rumor you ordered gold roses from Stephen Singer. Is that true, Eric, for your... Uh, for your girlfriend? For your girlfriend. For your non-girlfriend. Thanks for blowing that. <gasps> it was his surprise. No, someone told me. How am I supposed to How come I don't know that? Uh... That should never fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just throw your money out the fucking window, Eric. How sweet, though, that he's getting a Valentine's present. <laughs> what do you think she's getting you, Eric? I don't know. <laughs> it won't be sex. <laughs> Dope. Yeah, but how much did that cost you? Hey, hey, Robin, you know, for this topic, given the fact that you haven't told shit between you and... <laughs> Jim, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs>
He's got a point. <laughs> yes, she has. She's fucking him. She's doing everything. I never him. said that. She never said it. Well, come on. Two, two things we know. Robin banged Jim, and that girl didn't bang you. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting your money on gold roses. How many gold roses did you buy for her? It's one. One. One uh -huh. gold rose. Jeez. That's sweet. No, that's sweet. Come on, Eric doesn't have a big budget. Listen, he's in love with this girl. I get it. He wants a, he wants a girl from You know what? Than... Eric and girls would be a good boyfriend. Wouldn't you? I wish I wish I could find Eric a real girlfriend. I really do. I don't mean one of these he's, fucking chicks he's from gonna the internet. He's going to be true blue. He's going to be into yeah. you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that my mission, Eric. Come on, Howard. No, I, why? How are you going to find him a girlfriend? Well, what? There's someone for everyone. I mean, how am I going to find him? Look at him. He's smiling. He looks good. Yeah, but look who he's after. He's after, like, you know, Pam Anderson. He sets his sights way not... too high. You, you think? Him, you just set him up with, like, Wendy. Him and Wendy. Yeah. No. no. He's he not retarded. Do but do you think he would settle for somebody who would really be into him? Yes. I do. I think, Eric, if I found you a girl, I'm not saying she's as hot as that chick on the Internet, but let's face it, that it, chick isn't even showing up at your fucking house. Uh, let's say I find you a girl who really wants to be with you. That would be more... A girl who could overlook your shortcomings. Right. A girl who's going to sit there with you on that dopey cam. Maybe she won't be as hot as the other one. Right. She's ain't yeah, going to be you hot. you could actually get rid of that roommate because she'd take care of you. Would you fuck a fat chick? <laughs> yeah. Would you? I have been interested in women that are hard size. Yes. Okay. So what yeah. I'm saying is you want me to get... Listen. Let's get serious. Let's get busy. You want me to get you a serious girlfriend, or you want us to go with an imaginary girl like this one on the Internet? You decide. For now, I will stick with Kendra. Okay. Uh, <laughs> going with the imaginary one. So you'll stick with the imaginary one. I mean, don't you... You, well, must, yeah, you, be, gotta... you, must, you must... You must be dying to stick your penis in something. I'm trying to fuck Diana and her mom's hot... Fucking asshole. It's that simple. All right. Got it? He's got to see how the Kendra romance plays out. I mean, that's too hot. Yeah. All right, let's assume that Kendra doesn't put out on Valentine's Day. It turns out it's a big scam. Are you seeing her Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with the rose? It's being sent to her. I see. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I know you want a girl real bad. I know you're lonely, but I think we got to start working on a girl who's really going to be with you. Yeah, I mean, do you envision a future, Eric, where Kendra will actually be there? Yes. Uh, when when is this going to happen? We are working on it. We no, I meant like in the future, like marriage. She's with you all the time. I just meant Kendra might stop by his house ever. Yeah, but my point is, he's wasting time. Even if she came by, that's all she's going to do. <laughs> Tell you what, if there are any girls out there, I'm, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. Yeah. 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 any girls out there. Now, listen, I'm, I'm well, talking didn't to you. Didn't I just say to stay out of it? What? Didn't I just tell Robin to stay out of it? Yes. <laughs> she's not oh, listening. I don't care. She's not going to listen to you. <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> there are any girls out there who want to be in a relationship with Eric? Now, you, you got to be the type. I'll, I'll, I'll read you the profile. A, you got to be a shut in. No, and, you don't have to no. be shut in. Yeah, you got to Eric... have somebody who's mobile. No, you got to be shut in. That's right. And you got to want to sit there with him. But you got to not want to do a lot of things. Right. And be able to get to his house and stay there. Yeah, where do you. What, what, what state do you live in? California, right? California, right? Right. All right. And you have to be willing to sit on your computer and talk to him. No, no, no. I mean, yeah. like, have a relationship in person. Like, right. Even if you're like a hot 90-year-old. I know I, you know, I know that sounds crazy. Well, not maybe 90. No, right. no, 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 no. Or maybe 70. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't like him old, Eric? You wouldn't fuck a 70-year-old? No, I, wa I watched Nick Tuck, and I got grossed out at the storyline a couple of weeks ago where there was... A young guy with an older woman. All right. Mm. How old can we go then? I don't know. Uh, mid to late thirties. Oh All my right. God. But let me ask you something. All right, fine. Uh, 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 all right, fine. Do you care if they have all their limbs? In other words, let's say I find you a girl, late thirties, missing an arm, it's and got maybe a limp. A, uh, maybe no foot, something like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, in other words, she's not going to be perfect. 
You're not perfect. She's not perfect. Can you deal with a chick who's missing a leg? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Now you're talking yeah, my we're, language. We're, we're going, now getting we're getting somewhere. somewhere. In other words, a real human being that'll be in a relationship with you as opposed to one of these chicks who's, you know, on the Internet. Right. Can yeah, I put right. my finger in your ass? And she's missing a leg. <laughs> so she's missing a leg. So if you're a girl out there and you know you've had a hard time with men, you're a good woman, you want to be loved, you want to have a friend. Yeah, maybe you are armless and you eat with your feet. Right, and Eric could feed you. <laughs> like you could help each other. Like that would be a be like I've seen shit like that on TV where they go to someone's house and it's like this weird sort of coupling, like the world's largest man and the world's tiniest woman. Right. There's you know? women who like to take care of guys. Eric is perfect for that. Right. And yeah, if you would be, you know, like there's plenty of women who are sitting on the internet writing to prisoners. And no, Eric is like a prisoner. Any racial uh, barriers here, Eric? Be honest. Uh, do you, you're not into, let's say, blacks or Hispanics, Hispanics, Asians. No, no, that, that, <laughs> that just would not be a problem. Oh, so you take any race or nationality. Good, good. Now I like your attitude. Hey, and no chicks with anything to fucking promote. No website. Right. No right. No, if you have something to promote, I'm, I'm taking you out yeah, of the mix. Off. Yeah, fuck off. A anything you want to say to the girls about you that would turn them on right now? Eric, the butt fucker's penis is a lot darker than usual. All right. That, that's, not turn, that sounds good. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor, ladies. That's what you have Ladies, to the guy knows how to make you laugh. <laughs> Eric, not, what? You you are going to be doing this for no point at all. We're going to find you someone who'll be there. She's going to beat Kendra's time. You don't think that this is a good idea? No. Why? Did you? Especially two days. I mean, he's no. trying to find you a realistic girlfriend, somebody who's going to you're going to actually see at your house. Hey, maybe Kendra will get jealous yeah. and rush over. Yeah. Hello? I can't. I don't know what to say to that. You threw him. All right, look, look. Here's the bottom line, and I got to move along. <laughs> you have a girlfriend that you've never met. She's never been to your house. You've never seen her in person. How long has this been going on? Yeah, I mean, girlfriend? it's been going on now a couple of months. It's ridiculous. And I know a month. A month. And I know that you're excited about all this, and I know you think this sounds like fun. And I get it. I get it. You're lonely. But I'm talking about doing the ultimate. Finding a real girl. Yeah, she's going to have problems. Sure. She ain't going to be perfect. But she'll be there. Yeah. But she'll be with you. Now, that's got to turn you on a little bit. Unless you're... You're damaged and you're kind of saying to yourself, you know what, I'd really rather have an imaginary girlfriend. I don't want a real girl. She's not an imaginary girlfriend. She's not there, Eric. Eric. Eric, you watch TV. You know what the real world is about. <laughs> you see a girlfriend. Right. So that's why everybody's saying she's imaginary, because yeah. you're not doing anything with her. You're not, you haven't touched her. I'm going to find you like a blind chick. And Eric likes girls with big boobs. I'll, right maybe I'll find you a 10, but she's blind. A big boob blind girl. Right. Like, remember, you ever see the movie with Cher? She has a son who's got a lion kind of condition. Right. She starts dating a blind chick. She's the hottest thing I ever saw. She looked like Alicia Silverstone <laughs> from Clueless. In fact, it might have even been her. That was Laura Dern. No, it was Laura Dern. It was Laura Dern. Laura Dern. If I could hook you up with Laura Dern and she can't see, you give a fuck? No. See, unfortunately, I think Laura's only going to do something like that in the movie. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Eric, you, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm already taken. Well, we'll see how taken no. you are. Do you really believe that? I, I don't believe, you know, you're a pretty intelligent guy. I don't believe you think you're taken. I think I think he's completely delusional, Howard. No. Yes. In that little apartment of his with all those TV monitors and stuff. That it's gotten to the point yeah. where he believes. Not, Ralph, I've not been in an apartment since April of last year. Oh, sorry. He lives in a house. You sorry. should know that. Sorry. You'd be thrown out of the chat room for yeah. saying that. I mean, this is why you <laughs> I'm going to ask you something, Eric, quite simply. What if I find you a super hot chick? I'm telling you who looks like friggin' Elle McPherson, but she used to have a penis. Oh. <laughs> 
now that's no. She's now a woman. No, Stop. the law even the law even classifies her as a woman. I don't think Eric's gone for that. Why not? Why not? Oh, yeah, I think no he would. Siobhan. Not a Siobhan. She's beautiful, but she used to have a penis. Yeah, and now has a full vagina. Looks like Penelope Cruz. Right. Penelope Cruz might still have her penis. No, she looks like Penelope Cruz, or she looks like you know who she looks like. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Our, totally uh, hot. Is thinking about it. Pair of panties. Yeah. Hot as shit. <laughs> but okay, it was born into the wrong body. How about it? Nope. That you're not going for. That's where he draws the line. And she jerks you off. She's good at it. She fucking cooks your meals. She used to have one. Hey, Eric, what, are you going to give Kendra a deadline to see you? Like, That's a good she question. Doesn't, she doesn't come and see you like in a month or a week or what, what's your what's yeah, yeah? What is the deadline in your deadline? mind? Well, I don't have one, but exactly one month from yesterday is my birthday, so definitely would like to hang out with her on my birthday. So okay. it seems like the birthday is like the All right. breaking if, point. We're going to give it to your birthday. Yeah. If she doesn't show up by then, are you willing to admit that she's not a real girlfriend? I don't know. I he see. can. He's ha it's hard for him to give this up. We got to slip the new girl in there while this mm -hmm. is going on. Mm -hmm. One last question, Eric. What do you love about her the most? What really made you fall in love with her? She's as sweet as she is beautiful. She can type. <laughs> with her feet. <laughs> I wonder if she can type while she's getting laid. <laughs> but what I'm saying to you is, let's say a year from now, she still hasn't visited mm. you. Okay, I'm giving her one a year. year. A year. Oh, yeah, come on, no. Oh, well, you're Eric, would me. you then admit that she's not your girlfriend? I don't know. Wow. I'm quite sure it wouldn't go that long. Mm -hmm. Why is she not coming on Valentine's Day? I thought that was the whole big plan, Valentine's Day. What Where was her... will she be? Yeah. With her boyfriend. What's her oh, excuse? I'm sure she'll be at work. What work is that? What's she do for work? Is she on the computer at work? No. What's her work? I thought you guys already knew that. I don't know that. What is her work? Oh, jeez. I know I've told you that before. No. Well, you no. don't remember. Tell us again. She works at a club in Phoenix. Oh, she's going to be somebody else's Valentine that night. She'll be lap dancing. A strip club, Eric? A strip club? Only topless, and she wears pasties. <laughs> I'm so sure nobody's feeling her up. She'll be lap dancing some stranger. So rather than be with her boyfriend, she'd, she'd rather be dancing. Yeah, for strange men, for money. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to go, go ahead with this, Eric. I'm going to try and find you a real woman. Yeah, I don't think we should wait. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be a girl listening right now, or you know someone who maybe has been, let's say, in an accident. Hurt. Hurt. <laughs> or is sort of like been burned by every guy on the planet. <laughs> Had know. a really rough time. You're going to have to get a girl who's a little older, be sick of guys, you know what I mean? Right. It's definitely got to be a girl like in her 30s. Or you something. know, they, they sometimes these girls can get sick of men pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah trust me. <laughs> I've met a few. I think I can pass on to Eric. <laughs> All right, Eric, I wish you luck tonight on your show. Right. And, and uh, you can tune in to him on JFSC. Eric, what, 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 what are you... TV. Eric, what dot are you... TV. Dot TV, JFSC dot TV. Dot TV. What was that, Ralph? What, what do people call you on your show, Eric? Eric the Retard. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of harsh, but okay. Well, why would your fans call you that? Because he throws them out of the room and stuff. Oh, I see. Do they ever call you any other names? Eric the Black of Shit. <laughs> <laughs> which one's your favorite? Which one is the most? Which one is the one? That's a good yeah, question. Pick one. Right. Eric the Bitch Hole. Oh. oh, that's another one. Oh. <laughs> Eric the Bastard. <laughs> Eric tells like you can keep going all day. Yeah, I mean, how many names do they call you? I mean, is there another one? Eric the Butt Fucker. <laughs> oh. I like the retard one, Eric. I think you should stick with that. All right. Eric, the retard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, Eric, look, all jokes aside, I wish you the best and uh, hope the show goes We're well. We're going to be looking for a woman for you. Uh, hey, quick, real quick, Eric, uh, Howard, how's Eric's skin today? He's all blotchy. Yeah, he's blotchy. <laughs> he's got a big red a big, uh, spot. <laughs> he looks like Gorbachev. Remember the yeah. guy, the president of Russia who had the big red stain on his yeah. head? Yeah, Eric's a little blotchy today. Looks like a can of paint exploded on Did he try the hydrocortisone cream? <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't take skin advice from <laughs> Riley Martin if you paid me. <laughs> uh, what you need is hydrocortisone. <laughs> yeah, okay. And you speak to aliens, right? <laughs> Eric, how you doing, all right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to find your woman. You hear what I said? Yeah, you know what? It's like, just just find them a girl. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm taking matters. Yeah, it's enough of this. I'll part. find a girl. If you don't want her, you can reject her. Okay? He won't reject her. The room is saying that they don't see blotches at all. So I don't. Know I what see it, Eric. I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm telling you, it looks red on your forehead. It might be the lighting. Okay? Someone just type no blotches, motherfucker. All right. Well. Mm. Okay. Very, uh, Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm very wrong. articulate. Right. You tell those people to behave. I got. Uh, it's an hour and thirty six minutes without a commercial interruption. I got to go, Eric. You know as well as I. You understand the business now that you're in it. <laughs> you got to take a break, right? Right. Professional. Right. All right. Have a good day, and everyone tune into Eric tonight on JFSC dot com uh, dot, dot TV. TV dot TV. All right. All right, Eric. Good luck. Bye. Then try and do a good show. Bye. We'll Bye. be listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.